Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of ABT News. Only see the son of Nuba is my name. We are back again. Sim Road to 2023. We are focusing on Zimbabwean elections. 23 August has been set as the election date. We have here in the studio my brother, namesake, say namesake, Nkoli Sinube. We have to note he is Nkoli Sinube. I am always the son of Nube, so I'm a second generation. He is the first generation from different families, of course. The last time we had him here, he was talking about triple C in him. He comes here as a different package today. My brother, welcome to the show. Thank you so very much, my brother. Um, the last time we spoke to you, uh, you were representing Triple C in here, bro. Yes, yeah. the organizing secretary, is it? Correct. Right. You come back, you've been to SIM, you've come back as a new package. You are now representing the same party in council elections. Yes. Matoko, is it Matoko who Yes. yes. Matoko Mangwe. Oh, Matoko so, Mangwe is the Triple C council candidate for what for? Please tell us about the metamorphosis <laughs> from the organizing secretary of here, bro into being a council candidate in Matopo. How did it go about? Did you know about that when you came here last time? Were you angry about that when you came here? Or it was already in the process? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I think, yeah, and uh, I must say you are doing great because I've seen you. your, your work and interviewing different people in different uh, fields. So thank you for the opportunity. Um, to be honest, when I came here for the first time, yeah. I, I, I didn't know that uh, I might come back as a candidate or I am being eyed by the community to be the candidate. Um, because by then, I think the delimitation process, you yeah. remember, it was still not sure yeah. whether it will see the day or not. So. The, there was a candidate for what for, which we were all behind because the idea was to make sure that uh, we remove Zanu PF in what for, not only in what for, but we we were really very organized in making sure that we remove Zanu PF in Matopo Rural Development Council yeah. and uh, have majority of Triple C councillors. Um, then the limitation came. And the candidate of Ward 4 yeah. was now left outside. His village was out of uh, Ward 4. Okay. Then um, the citizens in Ward 4, they were left without a candidate, or should I say a prospect for a candidate. Okay. And they said, and they decided that they should send a delegation to my homestead, of which when I came, I went home. Uh, I found that they were there and because when I was at home most of the time I would also go to and attend the party meetings but just as a, 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 a citizen in that, in that village or in that world so to speak. So I accepted the, the, the nomination uh, before the nomination so I said if that's what you guys want because I don't want to come here wanting to be a counselor because I don't think uh, that's really something good to, to say, yeah, 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 I'm, I'm going to be the counselor, please elect me. Yeah. Uh, Triple C this time didn't want such things. I'm sure everybody heard the president saying, uh, we don't want those who want, we want those that are wanted. Yeah. And I think I became one of those that I wanted. And I have come. Okay, you, you've lived in South Africa yeah. for the greater part of the last few years. Yeah. Um, and then the people at home yeah. nominate you yeah. to represent them. Yeah. What does this speak to? Does it speak to a lack of good leadership in Triple C in Matopo or in your world? Or you've always been involved or in some of the activities back home, not talking about politics alone, because yes. 
these are people from your party who nominated yes, you, but yes. people are going to vote are no, not entirely from your party. Definitely. So I'm trying to look at the signage between members of your party nominating you and your ability to garner votes from the general public. Is it based on uh, the normal that we always are being told that Triple C does not have? picks people from who don't live within the communities, or within the the communities, or this speaks to your work as an individual? Uh, firstly, let me uh, put this on record, that uh, as far as the people who are going to vote for me, let's, let's just put that to rest. Yeah. It is the people of what for. Yes. And I'm talking about people that support Triple C, support ZANU PF, support ZAPU, support MRP, or any other political entity that you can think of, which exists in what for. Definitely those are the people that are going to vote for me. Now, the question that you are asking, I think, thank you for asking that, because I'm going to answer it, and I am going to be a little bit national when I'm answering that. Yeah. Uh, because I think now I'm in a position to, <laughs> to, to now speak even uh, a little bit of a lab. Yeah. Um, the reason why I was uh, nominated, it is not because there were no other people that can be candidates. Okay. We had other people that were um, eyed by the community to be the candidates. Because I, I must put this in record. When I was nominated, it was not only me. Okay. There were other people who were at home. Okay. Right. Of which, because of the synergy and the unity that is within the world, the time when we went to candidate nomination, yeah. we were given the opportunity to have a caucus okay. by ourselves as the nominated candidate. And we had to assess the strengths of each other. And we agreed, all of us that were there, to say, let's allow him to go through. Because okay. he comes top as far as whatever that we used as the credentials, or should I say, or okay. criteria to say who goes forward. So you're but saying that the, the, the party nominated you, I mean, the people, the structures. Yes. Let me say the structure of the party yeah. nominated you, yeah. and then the fellow candidates that yeah. you with also agreed that you should get a through pass. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, which means you don't have the problem that you have all over that your party has all over that some places there are double candidates and stuff. Well, let's 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 also address the issue of double candidates. Yeah. We are fighting a uh, fighting as in uh, not in. Is in physical, but as in, you know, the, 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 the analog. But we are fighting a party that is very ruthless, ZANU-PF. You are one person that can write, uh, I mean, millions of books as far as yeah. the ruthlessness of ZANU-PF. These guys, they can pull anything from their evil bag uh, to throw at whoever is challenging them. They, right now, Triple C has kept them guessing. Triple C was, uh, has been, uh, uh, they didn't know how to deal with Triple C. The only time, and they were running out of time. Yeah. One, they could, they infiltrated Triple C, um, they came to our rallies, they tried everything, but it was not going to work yeah. because of the module that have been used call it structuralist or whatever. Yeah. But that was the right thing to do as a party that has suffered a lot in the hands of San Pierre. Now, uh, the issue of double candidates, that is the work of San Pierre through this organization called FAS, Forever Association for Zimbabwe, I don't know what they call it. Now, what this has done is that um, they have, because I've gone through the nomination court, mm -hmm. The party symbol that was used on the nomination papers, compared to all these other uh, uh, candidates that are now supposed to be removed, yeah. uh, it's not similar because those ones they were using photocopies and all that. We were using an original party uh, uh, symbol and the signatures also. 
It's unfortunately that uh, Zek, and I don't know if I, sh I could say Zek as a wall or some officials within Zek, because where I was in Matopo, the process went very smooth. Okay. In a sense that the commissioner there, he was very strict, he was very fair, he was not biased. If your paper is not clear as far as where the party has to sign, party representation and all that, he will call you. And if you, you know, sometimes people get overwhelmed and they can't explain things through. It's their first time, they're shocked and it's all that. Then he, had, he will call the party uh, representative to come and explain. Okay. But now we're asking ourselves, how, why did these commissioners allow two candidates from one party to go through? So it shows that some officials within ZEC, they are part of this uh, 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 entity called FAS. Let me not call it entity. They are part of this uh, bogus operation called FAS. Uh, because we know that they are using state funds, they are using everything that is their disposal, which is supposed to develop the country. They are using it to mess up the country. That's why uh, we have these double candidates. But with that being said, um, this is a war, as I've said. This is a, 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 a battle of titans. So what is going to happen is that if in a case, I mean, in a case whereby ZEC does not remove them, as per the party's uh, request, and ZEC does not remove them, it's okay. Let them go through. The people knows they are candidates. Yeah. Remember, every candidate right now, maybe we should mention this in policy, yeah. We've got 210 uh, constituencies yes. in, in Zimbabwe. And I confirm to you that Triple C has filtered 210 okay. members of parliament. What does that tell you? It tells you that we are a party that is serious. And out of 1,970 uh, 1, uh, uh, councillors, we've managed to fill 1,950 something of which where we did not manage, it's places whereby you can't find a candidate. Yeah. Why? Because these are the places that were created by ZANPF through grabbing land and giving it to some people that we don't even know whether they were Zimbabweans or not. And in, that, in those areas, you can't find an, an opposition party because they will kill that person overnight. So you, you can't blame the president, you can't blame the party. Because president cannot pull somebody from Blawai or Harare to go and say, go and represent these people there, they don't have a, a candidate. Yeah, uh, I think we don't have, uh, I'll be the last person to argue that Triple C is not a serious party. Of course. Other than some people, I think they are the most serious party that is there. Thank you. you have right now, yes. that one is beyond any, any, any argument. Doubt. Yeah. But what I can say is, fine, I have my own reservations about us blaming Zanu PF for everything that we do wrong. Okay. okay. And by saying us, I'm you talking mean, about yes. we the so-called pro-democracy fighters. Yes. Because at the end of the day, if we don't correct where we get things wrong, yeah. we will continue to repeat the same mistakes and hide behind right. excuses. Absolutely. Um I would say fair and square, let's say it was Zanu PF's machinations through Zek, yeah, uh, which led to your party ending up filtering double candidates in certain places. Yeah. It was only the nomination court sits one just once. Yes. It's, a, it's a one day thing. Yes. If I am a Zek uh, official and I get two people claiming to represent the same party, yeah. I've got two choices. Yeah. The first choice is to disqualify both of them because I'm not a member of that particular party. Correct. But now if those were both disqualified and tomorrow the nomination court uh, sitting is over you are also going to come back and say this, they disqualified our candidates. So I think in this particular moment, they did the right thing, but you still have it within your party's uh, power. Yeah. As you have already said, that you requested that these people be removed. removed. Yeah. Uh, I have a, a friend who apparently was one of the nominees. There were around three of them. Mm. And he says to me, he didn't make it. Yeah. He's claiming that he came out tops, he was the one who was supposed to go in, mm. but at the end of the day, his name was scratched in favor of somebody who is supposed to be a weak candidate according to what he says. Okay. And he says his supporters within the party mm. were pressuring him 
to go in as a double candidate. So this shows that it's not entirely sec, it's not even Zanu PF, let me okay. say. Okay. But fine, Zanu PF will always you would use a no ball that you have yeah. in Zanu PF mm. if you had any. Mm. And right they will. I know they are they, they are carefully looking at this. That these guys put in double candidates. I think in Bulawayo it's around five double candidates mm. in certain uh, areas, and they are looking at this carefully. They are happy that maybe we are going to beat these guys because they filled the double candidates. Mm. So I, I wanted to clear that. I mean this, but also at the same time, I don't want to put you in a corner where you have to answer for the whole party because we called you here as <laughs> yeah, the sure. what council candidate. Yeah. Unless if you are free to discuss these no, things. Yeah. The good thing about Triple C is that um, we, we are all informed. Yeah. Um, yes, I'm a ward councillor in a very rural area for that matter. Yeah. But I am well versed with what is happening within my party. I appreciate that. Yeah. Um, and, that, and, and, and we appreciate that uh, from the part that there is, uh, if we're talking about leaving nobody behind, that's what we're talking about, not uh, what we have seen. Um, in the issue of disqualifying, let's address this. In the issue of disqualifying both candidates, yeah. I agree with you, but um, in this in this term, that they were supposed to be partially uh, or temporarily, if I may use the name and uh, language, they should have been temporarily disqualified until the representative of the party was called by the commissioner. Because within ZEC, when you are sitting for nomination court, yeah. there's a secretary, there's a commissioner, there are verifiers, I think there are about two or yes. four and all that. So now all these people are checking one paper yeah. and they're checking if the paper has been filled correct, is the right party and all that, meaning they could easily see when there are two candidates. And it's up to the commissioner to say, I'm seeing two candidates who say they want to be councillors in, 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 in what form. Yeah. I don't know uh, within their their laws whether they, they, there is no law that says uh, that requires them to to, to 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 verify that I don't know but they should have called the party representatives to come and say I've got two candidates who is who here yeah. then that's what they were doing with the with the women's quarter because women's quarter you find that you've got twelve yeah. and they this like the, the papers were not ready and all that but a commissioner that is really dedicated to do justice to Zimbabwe as far as uh, elections are concerned yeah. will definitely uh, do his work without fear of him so this is a collusion between uh, unscrupulous members of your party and this unscrupulous ZEC commissioner. I can't deny that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not PF because <laughs> I'm trying to. No, but, to but, have us but who is not that? have this conflation <laughs> because uh, we, we cannot conflate until, unless and until we got the evidence. Yeah. I'm saying if I was an PF yeah. and I see my main opponent because yeah. you are the main opponent. Mm -hmm. Filtering two candidates. Yeah. Zanu PF won, I think, I think since 2000, they won the first seat in Bulawayo. In Bulawayo South. Yeah. Because the MDC Alliance okay. filtered two candidates, yes. double candidates, yeah. and what won. And being, if I was Zanu PF, and I see that my main competitor is filtered double candidates, yeah. I would be very happy without me having mentioned that, without it being my machine machine. I'm yeah. not trying to answer for no, I, I, I'm not trying to make this a Zanu PF versus Triple C thing. I, but I'm yes, saying, let, let some I some say let's also accept our own uh, mistakes when we make some. Yeah, but let me, let me, let me really uh, 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 maybe elaborate more on this. Yeah. Look, um, for example, where I come from, I know we're going to talk about that. Yes. There is a lot of mining activities. Yes. Right? Um, I could see towards the the, the, the the nomination court that after the word has gone out yeah. that I am the candidate. I could see that there were a lot of uh, uh, unusual movements around me and unusual people coming to me and asking me about what do I think about the word and yeah. what do I think I sh uh, should uh, if I win, what am I going to do, and blah, blah, blah. I could see that 
people were trying to soften me up so that they can approach me and do and these are ZANU PF people known in the area now do you think these people are doing that on their own it, it, it is a system that comes from ZANU PF why am I continuously saying ZANU PF yeah. <coughs> um, do you know people most people especially these that are not wanted uh, when you see them raising their hands most of the time is to come and loot, steal, yeah. corruption, and all those things. That's what in their minds. They are not concerned about the well-being of the people, the development of their constituencies. And that person can do anything because their aim is to eat. That is their aim. So if somebody comes and say, you know what, let's twist this whole thing. Don't do it right. Do it this way to benefit me. Chances are that person will take it because that's what they're in for. That's why I'm saying I'm not blaming only ZANU PF, but I'm putting also the responsibility to ZANU PF, which knows that one, they don't have enough votes in 2023 to win them presidential uh, elections. They, they can't. There is no way ZANU PF will win this election fair if, if, if really we want to talk reality. They can't win this election. Number two, we do have, I agree with you, we do have uh, unscrupulous uh, uh, members uh, within us who, as you know, that we have the Monzora thing. Uh, I don't know what they call it, that thing of Monzora. MTC. Yeah. MTC what, so, Alliance. Whatsoever. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, it's, it's, um, um, it, I, I'm told, I hear that it's completely dead. It couldn't even fail to one or two uh, MPs. Dead. Natural death. Now, what he did, um, there are people that were there within Monzora okay. who now came and misquander as, uh, as, as triple C candidates. And the people said, no, 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 not you. We know you. We know your behavior. You know, we know who leads you. We know your, your agenda and your mandate. So we cannot accept you. But because, I mean, in, in, if you look uh, this thing, let's be honest. Uh, Zek was supposed to question should or have a clause yeah. that says a party cannot field two candidates. Yeah, I agree with you with that. Simple. Um, but as I say, because maybe you do have a point that they should have maybe called a party representative or a person who oversees a, a particular area that, okay, in this area, we yeah. are our candidates. Yes. Fine, they could have done that. Mm. I don't know if they have it within their, their powers to then say, to disqualify me, to, to, to then say, okay, we don't have your, your, your overseer here, therefore, you are standing aside, we are taking this one. But anyway, let's talk about your word. Yeah. There was a delimitation exercise done. Mm. You are saying that the guy was supposed to stand originally, mm. ended up falling on the other side. Correct. So what I'm getting here is that this is a, somehow, it's a fusion of one word with another. That yeah, was my like, for example, this was there was a word, this was the boundary, there was that boundary. Now the boundary has been shifted. Yeah. Is it okay? Am I right by that? Uh, I would say yes, you are right. Because what happened is that my word was um, back then was uh, seven villages, okay. and they took off three, okay. of which we are left with four villages. Well, now it's only four. Now it's only four. Okay. Yeah. And how yeah. is the setup of this word? Because looking at rural areas, the other the councillor was there. Yeah. Was he Zanu Pierre? Yes. Okay. Since now, 1985. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So yes, is he still this side or he has fallen on the other side? No, he's still this side. Because we me and him we reside in the same village. Oh. Yeah. So now we are within the boundary. Uh, what gives you the confidence that you can take him on with me? Look, uh, you see, the, the, the problem that ZANPF has is that they, they have this politics of uh, divide and rule, yeah. uh, which is not good, if, uh, especially in the 21st century. People are enlightened, people are informed, yeah. people are exposed, um, people have traveled the world. Yeah. They now understand what is good, what is right for them. And if you come with strategies of divide and rule, support me or you die, support me or you go hungry, people will not budge to that. Now, 
the what makes me confident is that number one, uh, I'm still young yeah. compared to him. I think he's over seventy, if I'm not mistaken. He's almost approaching eighty years of age, and. Uh, if we look at my achievement, and I'm not saying that uh, I try to be braggadocious or something like that, I'm saying it with a sense of humor and respect. Yeah. If you look at what I've achieved, young as I am compared to you, if we want to talk personal stuff, I have, I, 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 I'm, I'm 10 times ahead of you. Now, there is something that people should understand about the cancer. A counselor must not come in because he's looking for a job. Yeah. Counsel is all about community work. You are like a servant of the people. You are like uh, a messenger. You are sent, go there, do that, go there, do that. That's all. Yeah. That means you, when you go there, you must be already full. You must not go there with an empty stomach because yeah. you will start stealing uh, maize that is supposed to be given to the poor people you start stealing uh, they bring a goat to say give to the to the old woman you're now stealing one goat and you put it over there you just do funny things but let's stick to why am i confident yeah. number one um the the counselor that has been there since 1985 he lost once in 2008. is it the same guy yeah the same guy he came back in 2013 and he got back his seat again after that split between uh, Makope and MTC Alliance and all that. Mm -hmm. So the MTC lost because of that split. But if we look, if we, we want to take stock of what he has achieved, this counselor, for the people in the world, yeah. I think maybe we can give him two out of ten. And that two it's just NGOs that have come. I mean, a spot like whereby policy comes to the world and says, ah, guys, I see you're struggling with water. Can I drill a ball for you? Now, the people have seen what I'm capable of. Because if you go to my village and you ask Uguti, um, they will tell you, Uguti, uh, when I will be saying Mkolis, when they will say, okay, I know this yeah. as a respect of what I've done for the community. And there was a time whereby I had an opportunity. I got an opportunity. Let me show you this. I had an opportunity to drill a ball in my homestead yeah. for myself. But I said it must be drilled 300 meters away from my homestead. And my family didn't understand it. Yeah. I said, it, we, we, we should understand that water is a right for the people. And when you put it in your house, you have personalized it. If you put it in your house, please make sure you put it behind your kitchen or somewhere and close your gate and that's it. But make sure there is water somewhere. Yeah. And I can count a lot of projects that are uh, spearheaded with other uh, young people within the world. And we have accepted. Yeah, you, you, you are saying that he only lost one since 1985. Yeah. Despite him having done nothing. Yeah. Which means other than achievements, people are giving him longevity based on what is it because of party uh, of partisanship or what? Um, this is what is happening in rural areas. And after being nominated, I sat down with my team because I've got a very strong team of young people. Uh, both at home and out of the country, uh, young, uh, educated, and, 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 and very vibrant, whereby when we discuss strategies and all that, we also assess our, 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 our opponent. Okay. And I can assure you that he, the people have been voting for him out of fear, because one, there was a time whereby, uh, I think it was 2000, 2008, there was this thing called Man Gold. Yeah. Yes. The guys were doing man on the beating people and taking women from other villages to another villages in the in the base. They are there within the community. They are still there. The the perpetrators, they are still there. And every time when it's election times, they rise and start intimidating people and tell people that already as I speak, they are telling people that if if you vote for Umkolisi, you know you are in trouble. But Sometimes I, whenever I address the people in, 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 in my meetings, I always tell people, 
that do not be afraid to die for the truth. Because one or the other you will die. Mm. It's either you will die for something that is not worth it, or you will just die as a pauper. But if you have to die for the truth, die for the truth. And I don't think really this time they will be able to execute whatever they normally execute. There's a different candidate with a different mindset, with a different attitude. And um, I, I think pound to pound, I am ready for them. Um, and I'm not saying this to, in a manner that I'm ready for them with violence. Look, love has always prevailed over hatred. And if you see that you are within people that have got bad attitude and bad mindset and you don't contaminate them, then you are not a good leader. I believe that if I walk into a space where there are crooks and all these people that you can think of who are hooligans and all that, if I walk into that space, within an hour, the atmosphere changes without me forcing anybody to think otherwise. Yeah, I agree with you that, as you say, it's different party, different candidate. Yeah different setup of the world. Yeah. But now you are saying that the people who are committing these atrocities are still there. Yes. And this leaves them because it's, I think in a way it's still the same voter. Yeah. These same people have been voting out of fear. Yeah. And you are saying the people, these perpetrators are still there. They are also ready to execute their same uh, voters of Barandi. Now that leaves the people susceptible to intimidation again. And ah, let's, let's, just, let's just squash that intimidation. <laughs> yeah. They are still there but they are the biggest example of poverty. So now when I'm talking about poverty, I don't say poverty. I just mention names and say so and so and so and so and so and so. You know them, right? They were part of this uh, Mongolia thing. Yeah. But go and look at where they stay. Are they no longer part of it now? As in, like, Mongolia? Yeah. The, well, the violence machine. They are they 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 confused. They can't even eat. They, some of them they can't even lift their uh, their their own hands. They are they are old. They are sick. They are you know what? They've been used. You know when you are used and dumped. Yeah. One emotionally and mentally it affects you. You didn't get anything out of the uh, brutality that you committed against your own people, and now you are sitting there. You've got nothing. Yeah. And the people are like, okay, these are the people that were harassing us, but. They are worse than everybody else within the community. Yeah. So the people have woken up. Okay. The people have seen the light. And let me tell you also, um, I was confident even before I was a candidate that we are going to win. Yeah. Because the guy who was there was a very good candidate also. Loved by the people. It's only that in 2018 he lost because of the split. And he lost about 37 votes. Oh. Yes. Okay. He lost about 37 votes. Now, um, I, 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 I did an analysis of these villages that are left and I realized, one, the two villages that were removed were his throw okay. That's where you got more votes. Because as people see, we don't just uh, talk about winning and winning. We work with database. Yeah. We look at the database. We analyze not just a, a, a previous uh, elections, and we even go to yester, yester, years and try to really be realistic. I, I'm, I like it because I'm talking to a man who, who, know, who understand what we are talking about when we're talking about being realistic when we're yeah. approaching elections. So we went, we're going into this election with a proper database that is guiding us to say, if I am saying I am winning, Yesterday, somebody said, can we bet? I said, how much do you want to bet with? Because I don't want to waste time betting with 1,000 rand or 1,000 US dollars while I know I'm going to win. You rather put 100,000 US dollars yeah. so that when I win, I take that money and build bridges and all that. So don't waste my time because I'm winning in what for? Why? One, the manifesto that I'm bringing, I know we're going to talk about that. Yeah. The manifesto that I'm bringing is completely different from what he's bringing. It's what the people have been crying for. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You've already moved ahead of me. <coughs> uh, my next question was, I, I like your confidence. <laughs> <laughs> so my next question was, when your name was lifted, yeah, and you said yes, yes, Ramaphosa calls it too much. Okay. <laughs> so when you said yes yeah. to being sent by the people to represent them, Correct. you already had something in mind. You live in this area mm. and find you've been in South Africa, but you've been shuffling between. Yes. 
you know this area very well. Yes. You had something in mind. Yeah. First, I would want us to talk about the negatives that you want to turn around. Yes. That are there. Good. What are they? Right. Um, I'm glad because you are not uh, an old school journalist who just stick on how are you winning, how are you going to win and all that. You got it. Now, the negatives that I need to change. Number one, it's the type of leadership that is normally displayed by uh, the, the, the ruling party. Yeah. Maybe from the president up until to the to the to the to the to the to the what? You had there is a video circulating. Let's start from the president. You had uh, uh, E.D. Nagar uh, say, say uh, speaking. Uh, I will call it Falka language when yeah. you were saying uh, people cannot tell them how to be democratic. Uh, uh, I can't repeat what he said, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. he insulted. He just said something which is not befitting to be said by the president. That's Zanipia for you. You've got the, the, the rally in Bulilim, yeah. uh, whereby this uh, uh, yeah, uh, young man, minister. yes, yeah, 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 that minister, he said uh, the opposition uh, party people are Cockroach. confused, cockroaches. Yeah. The same thing that was said by Nangawa in 1983, three days after that, people from Lubane up until uh, 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 church, they were. A massacre and thrown in uh, disused mines. Now the same thing is being done because I remember uh, my in my community they said one day the councillor when there was a work meeting the councillor said Gandan Kavani in one at Amakande not to do that and I was in one of the the the, the funerals. This is this is this is uh, I'm sure you saw it already. My village has uh, already been on the news lately, whereby the Zanpf people, they went to the MC in a funeral, yeah. uh, just in a village next to me. And they said, they asked, I will, I will give you the, the article when yeah. by, by VO and the news, I'll give you the article. They, 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 they asked for votes in a funeral. <laughs> that tells you that we don't have leaders who understand the people. If you look the the, the, the headmates, we're talking about the negatives, right? Yeah. One, a leadership that does not listen to the people, that must be removed with a sense of agency within our communities. A, a, a leader must be a unifier. Yeah. Yes, like now, there are so many things that have happened in, in my world. People are angry. People are, 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 are so bitter. As a leader now, if I come in there, my duty is to unify the yes, people. Yes. My duty is to remove that toxicity that is within people. And I, I promise you, and I've said it, I said if I'm not going to get votes because I said some of the people from the other parties, you've got your MRPs that are there. You can see that the guy is okay, he's fine, but he just need a good leader, yeah. you know, who is not going to mislead him. Because most of the people that are following some political parties that we cannot mention, they lack leadership. And when you have right leadership, you can see that this, this guy can be an asset in the community. Yeah. So these are the people that we will uh, 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 harness and work together to develop the, 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 the work. Somebody asked me that, would you be able to um, allow a ZANPF uh, uh, people to serve in your village development committees? I said, we are appointing uh, people uh, on merit, yeah. not on po political uh, affiliation. Because if we do that, we will be doing the same thing that ZANU-PF is doing. Uh, we've got so many people that are known as affiliating, affiliated with the uh, C, and they are left out. I'm talking about uh, people that were working for Bulawayo City Council, that were working, I've got a guy, I won't even mention his name, I've got a guy who worked for Transnet. He worked for Transnet, he worked for Zimbabwe uh, Railways. He retired, he's sitting at home, mm -hmm. and he's still strong, very intelligent, very matured, of which if you are wise, but he can't be put in any of the village development committees. Why? Because he's... Yeah. You understand? Right, you, you've spoken about the negatives. now. Obviously, uh, I don't think you see this 
even if we were to be elected, yeah. as defeat of the old and victory for the new, which means that there has to be some transition of some sort. Mm. And that brings me to the next question. There are things that are already there, whether done by this guy mm. or by the community, yeah. which you would want to see maintained. Yeah. Uh, what are those? Are they in? Yes, uh, but, but let's not say done by him, or you say done by the community. Yeah, him or yeah. the community. Okay, we, we really appreciate yeah. that uh, I, I've, been, I've been part of, uh, I mean, there are some like community organizations that are there to spearhead development. Obviously, they pass through his desk yes. uh, in order for him to, 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 to take it to the council so that it can be approved in case it's something that needs to be bought in a certain land or it's a community that wants to to get a piece of land and work it so he has really tried but it's in some things i really don't blame him mm -hmm. um, the poor guy has tried his best but because he has a party um, that does not care about the people that makes him to automatically don't care whether he likes it or not, he somewhere somewhere he doesn't care. That's why he does not listen or does not do that inclusiveness within the world. He 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 works with the ZANPF template of saying it's either they are with us or they don't get this. Mm -hmm. So now there are some projects with uh, are still in progress. For example, there is a clinic which is still being constructed, and the the, the pace that it is moving, it is very slow. Because at some point, ZANPF wanted to hijack it and say, look what uh, ZANU has done, okay. uh, working together with the diaspora. <laughs> no, let's not fool the people. <laughs> These are the people that did this out of desperation. Yes. They realized that they, they have nobody. And they said with nothing. And I can tell you, and I, have, I salute the people of that world. Because they started this project of the clinic when it was during COVID. Yeah. They started building that thing. They could realize that if we don't this, do this, and in future this kind of uh, pandemic comes, we are dead. So they started doing that. So no political party can, can claim that thing. Yeah. Not even Triple C. And let me tell you something. I'm sure you must tell the, the, the world what kind of a leader I am after telling you this. Yeah. I was serving in the committee of the clinic yeah. as a uh, the, 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 the communications uh, personnel within that and I was also doing the bookkeeping of the of the I resigned last week and when everybody was crying why am I resigning I told them I said I am clearly known that I am a triple C member yeah, yeah. A, 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 a gunning for a, 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 a councilship seat mm -hmm. therefore I can't serve in that committee yeah. because that committee is unapolitical yeah. And if we set that standard of saying, whenever the community is working together, politics aside, yeah. whoever is called in as a politician must take off their political head and sit as a community member. We will only apply politics, if I may put it that way, when we now look at what do the bylaws say, yeah. what uh, and all that regulations that um, allows us to do that. So everybody has said. But you are letting us down. I said, you, you guys don't understand. It's me being part of this committee is going to dent this committee. Yeah. People will not believe in this committee anymore. They will think, okay, it means there are some who are still there. Even though they are not showing their hands, but they are still there. So I really, I'm not blowing my own horn, but I believe this is kind of leadership that we want. You can't be all over. Yeah. You can't be a Vitico, you be a deep tank uh, secretary, be a, a, a headman secretary, and you chair every meeting in the world. It's impossible. Yeah. And then uh, my next question, I will, I want us to dwell more yeah. on it and dissect a number of subtopics underneath. Correct. Because I believe when people want to vote you, they are focused on what you're going to bring you. Yes. And I want us to start with you maybe laying out the what that okay. you're representing. Right. What are these economic pillars? What type of a what is it? What type of people are found in the generality of the population? Correct. Thank you for that. 
Number one, we are in a very dry area, which I'm sure you are familiar with. Yeah. Um, just after Matopo, uh, is it Matopo? Yeah. The, 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 I think you were there sometime a few weeks ago. Yeah. I saw a documentary about it. Yeah. Yes, thank you for that, for bringing that to the world, because people don't know that we have such things in our own discourse. Yeah. Um, just after that, when you go after e e e the district offices, which is KES, yes. going down that side to Bafusi, it's a very dry area, yeah, it very is, dry. It is. But nonetheless, we've got very good deposits of gold. You don't have to go that deep as in like 100 meters down and all that. You can find gold even at 10 meters. You can yeah. go to, uh, uh, get good uh, gold and live out of it. But now, the problem is, no, that's number one. Number two, this is an area whereby if you want to commercialize, to go commercial, yeah. as far as goats are con concerned, yeah. you yeah. can do that. I've done it. During COVID, I was selling goats na 50, uh, okay. benches of 50. And I'm not just talking a goat with a, a big stomach and all that. No, I'm talking the pure genetics of goat that I've breeded in my homestead. So this is something that is there I've done a pilot project. Yeah. It's something that we just have to spread within the community. I want my want to be known by being the best producers of uh, goats. We're going to do that. Goats, they don't need you to, to they're not expensive to yeah. rent. But why is it that you find a, a, a homestead has got uh, uh, five goats in, in three years, they still have five goats? It is because the leadership of the area is not really concerned yeah. about the well-being of the people. If you are concerned, you will say, these people, they had four children last year and three goats. Now they've got seven ch children after three years and they still have three goats. Yeah. There's a problem. Then you sit down with them and you guide them, you hold them by hand, you lead them. That's number one. Number two, the area where we are has got so much land that is not used. Okay. That is very wrong, especially in rural areas. Uh, let me tell you something which I've noticed. I've traveled uh, across Africa. I've been to about 19 countries in Africa. So I think I'm going to be a different counselor, to be yeah. honest. A counselor who is exposed. I've seen how people utilize land in other African countries. Yeah. Yeah. We are not really utilizing our land. Can I give you an example? If today you give birth to a, a, a baby, today, and you plant 10 avocado trees behind your, 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 your homestead. 10, when that boy is only one day. You go and buy 10 avocado trees, you plant them. By the time he goes to university, those avocado trees will take him to school. Yeah. That sounds stupid, but I can tell you, that is what we call rural economy. What are you talking about? Then we've got the land whereby we can Right now, uh, I've seen people in my area going to buy sweet potato far as I don't know where. And it's so expensive for 50 rand, you're buying about uh, uh, not even a kg. Yeah. But we've got Amafusi, Ashesi, we are not using them. Why can't we use them as cooperative? Now, a leader will come and say, Oh, mama, you cannot all the time be going up and down in talking is in business or Ali. Yeah. Let's form cooperative. Council, we need that if Sililian. These women, we need events because we don't want to deforest our area. Already we are affected with trees. Let's get events. Let them fence there. There are maybe 10 households. Please make sure you work there and you plant your sweet potato. A sweet potato in two hectares can give you plus minus three to four thousand US dollars mm -hmm. if you sell it properly. In a rural area where you don't pay rent, you don't uh, pay electricity bills and water bills, it's quite, it's quite a lot. This is practical if we work together and, and, and have a plan on that. So we are not going there by saying, ah, we're looking for the devolution funds, mm -hmm. what do you call it, constituents development yes. funds. To how much is that, CDF? It's nothing. By the time it gets to a watt, I think it's about uh, 500 US dollars per watt. And what are you going to do? And also, I'm very glad that uh, my, my constituency is full of people that want to take things, the responsibility. Okay. So I'm going to harness, uh, to, 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 to um, uh, emancipate and capitalize on that. We are going to work because as a councillor, I'm, I'm going to fight 
for the road to be fixed by those that are supposed to find the road. I'm going to make a lot of noise, the road should be fixed. But there are these roads within the communities, right? That needs to be fixed. You find that kids in that other village, they didn't go to school. You ask why? Because the, 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 river, is, the river was, <laughs> was flooding. Yeah. So if the river is flooded, children cannot go to school. Why? No, there is no bridge. Come on, guys. In the 21st century, and when you look at the bridge that you need, though, there, it's not even a bridge that needs 50 bags of cement. Yeah. It doesn't need that. Maybe 30 bags, you are done. Because these rivers, they don't flow the whole day. Just a few hours, the water is gone. Yeah. Yeah. Now, because the leaders that are there, They've got the politics of toxicism, they've got politics of dividing people, politics of not listening to people. They can't come to the people and say, guys, please, can we do it ourselves? No. Number four, water bodies. We've got dams. I think there's a dam next to my village. We used to go there when we were small boys and um, we will spend the whole day there. You know people love water. People, human beings and water, you can't separate yeah. because we are made of water. And right now, all those things are full of uh, slurry and all that. You can't use them. Two months down the line, they are dry. Yeah. We need to. And there was a time whereby one of the businessmen in Mapisa wanted to do that, and the councillor refused. And on, on basis of, no, you want to campaign here. Yeah. First, go and uh, uh, present yourself to, 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 to the district. The district must vet you. Who are you to come? What, what is that? If somebody says, I want to help for the people, for this, yeah. even if when you come to the people and you say, guys, this councillor is not doing well, let me do one, two, three, four, so that you can see I'm a good councillor. Yeah. I sign the memorandum of understanding. You do it. Yeah. Uh, you, you, you've spoken about, what I read is that you, you already said that you want to invent the people, you want to do away with the toxicity, yeah. which I must admit is that. Yeah. I don't know how successful you, you will be. You are from the area. Because I was in Zimbabwe, you know, as you have yes, 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 seen it. From Matoko. Yeah. I'm from Matoko as yes, well, but a different word. Yeah. I spoke to the MP, I spoke to the councillor. Yeah. The councillor is there, the yeah. outgoing councillor. Yeah. He's okay. a Zanu PF guy. Yeah. Very sharp. Yeah. He laid his plans to me. Yeah. And he said, Do you know why these plans are not succeeding? Yeah. These people have been so intoxicated that. Just because of the Zanu PF said they don't want to cooperate with me. Yeah. <laughs> and he was talking about people from the opposition. <laughs> Those from Zanu PF, they we blame. do something today. Yeah. Tomorrow is supported. Yeah. And now I'm not trying to blame the opposition. I'm saying no, no, no. this is what we're going to meet because if you win, because yeah. you are so confident, yeah. you'll get the same kind of support from Zanu PF. So you need to work. How, how, how hard are you going to go in terms of enforcing this unity? Because the toxicity is there. We cannot run away from it. Yeah. Look, the, 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 there is what I call um, uh, 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 community consensus. Yeah. Yeah. And this is the same thing that uh, Triple C has used when they were getting, looking for their candidates. They allowed the community to agree. Now one would say, okay, the opposition members are great, but your, your, your question is based on the whole community yeah. includes, inclusively. Uh, Zambia, whoever, within that community. Look, my brother, there is power in uh, your, 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 the language, your tone. The day I win, which is on the 20th, and I think before 12 a.m., if not before yeah. 1 a.m., the, 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 the world will have a new council, which is me. The next day, mm. the slogans stop in the world. There is no more uh, uh, yeah. That's what we're going to be doing. The meetings, number one, these people, ZANPF, this is what they do. That guy maybe is one of out of one million, I don't know. But the truth is Zanu PF always makes sure that they divide people. I will give you a typical example. When poverty, when, when when drought comes, does it select that this one is uh, is is Zapu, this one is Zanu, this one is Sisi? 
No, it affects everybody across the board. Yeah, that's true. I bet to you the same counselor with whom you say you is clever, he was articulating his plan. He does not give food to the to the people of, of the opposition. He doesn't do that. Because if he does that, his own people will report him to the to the provincial office that this one is giving the opposition food. He's going to make you lose. So he's 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 talking but he's not doing. It's not people don't care about how much you you know. They care about how much you care. Now, what I'm, why am I saying that? When I go in there, a seventy year old in my ward is a seventy year old that needs help. It doesn't matter whether she is a she's a stunt and It doesn't matter whether at night she flew with a broom to my house to make me lose the election. No. If even if she did that and I found it through my spiritual lenses that this one was in my house to make me lose the election, I will not hate her for that. No. Look, you remember the time when Como said this country will not die. Yeah. And the young people will rescue it. Everybody didn't know when is that time. This is the time. And the spirit of that man, if you look at how this year, even if there was no event to commemorate him or his work, I'm talking about Joshua Mkabuko, yeah. the vibe and the energy that was uh, uh, around Zimbabwe as far as Komo is concerned, even from the people that incarcerated and, and tortured Joshua Ngo and killed his supporters. I'm talking about Zanbi of Nangako. He went to Lilima. He didn't know what to say because he doesn't have a, a manifesto. He calls himself, uh, they call themselves a new dispensation. They should say, we are a, 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 a reincarnation of the old dispensation. It's not new. The, the, this is not a, a, a salvation whereby the Bible says when you have received Christ, indeed you are new. This is politics. They are not new, those people. Same methods, same tactics, same ideas, same leaders, and all that. So, if I go in there, what will make me achieve this thing of uniting the community is that, one, I treat everybody with fairness. Yes, there will be those who will rebel. I know that. I'm not stupid. But, as I said, there is no way evil will prevail over love. It can't. Uh, both within Triple C and uh, other political parties within the world. and those they will come. And they don't want to be part of it. We'll see. And how is the dark spora component in your world? How wow. strong is it? Wow. You see. And how do you want your region? You, you've lived in the diaspora yeah. you lived in Zimbabwe. You, you know. I mean, you know the best of both worlds. And yeah. You are saying that you are part of the diaspora community that was built in something at home with yeah. the community. Yeah. So, how do you hope to move forward with them? Wow. I'm using the word wow. And um, I think I will be one of the blessed councillors in Matabalele because of the diaspora component. Um, yesterday, uh, my secretary was telling me that uh, already my tours for 20. 23 uh, after uh, uh, council's inauguration uh, is full because one, I'm coming to South Africa first yeah. to come and meet the watch uh, people here. We are going to have a, a serious dialogue where we are going to talk about our what here in South Africa. Uh, we have also uh, people in Botswana, well organized, they are already a unit there intact. I will have to go there and present my plan, my, present myself to them and present my plan to them. And uh, if all goes well, I will also go to uh, UK to go and uh, meet the people from uh, my ward because they are there. They are there in UK, they are there in Ireland. So I think both uh, constituencies will be together uh, when I go there. Definitely. I think uh, if it's not this year, uh, early, early, early 2024. I will be in UK to go and meet there. And again, um, uh, policy, uh, which uh, we are going to also have uh, uh, Zoom meetings as a word, which uh, I don't think you can have it now uh, because of the leadership that is there was unappeared. They, they don't know how to even download a Zoom app. So I'm able to do that. I'm working with young people. I'm working with Form 3s and Form 4s 
who are going to be I'm bringing in young people who are going to be working with me um, in terms of these social media things and all that um, obvious guided um, I'm going to be holding Zoom meetings constantly with my uh, ward, uh, especially those that are in diaspora and within Blawai also because they are scattered all over. You can't go, I can't go to Harare, I can't go to other parts, but it, when we, we should, we are the ones that should use the statement that says we're not leaving anyone behind. We've got the capacity and the means to do that, not the other people. So I am saying I'm not by any means going to leave anybody who is from the world. We are going to be holding Zoom meetings if it's once a month or twice a month. We are going to be doing that, updating them on what is happening. And we are going to have a word page, uh, both on Facebook, Twitter, and, and, and Instagram, whereby we are going to be flighting, flighting all the, the, the programs and the problems also that are within the world. We, the, everybody is going to see it. And everybody is going to see that this time it's a completely different ball game. Okay, um, and then you cannot be a rich one in a sea of poverty. Yeah. Uh, how are you hoping to work with uh, other councillors from surrounding ones? Yeah. Let's say, for example, if they are from different parties for, uh, than, than yours. Brilliant. I'm, I'm glad you're asking that question. Because um, at, what level, at what level you don't have that much power yeah. by yourself as a councillor? There, you are not an island. For example, I'm in what four? There is what three and what two? You're talking about Sanets and over there. You're talking about yoga forces, and you've got what? I think it's what six. I'm not sure. What five? Yeah. You're going to go Beula, all these places. Um, if I show you the candidates that are going in there, you will see that Triple C means business. And when Chamisa was telling people constantly that I am going to come with a, a solid team, he, he meant it. So now what is going to happen is that as councillors, we are, as far as uh, uh, the, the economical development is concerned, we are going to be working in unison because we, 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 we are not different. Mm -hmm. For example, if mining is done in my area, and we say, let, let, I was about to, to, to explain this, mm -hmm. you reminded me. In my word, when it comes to mining, this time, do you know there are young people that are used by people to go deep to the, to the ground, come up with gold, they take it, and they take 50% of whatever those young people bring. Yeah. No wonder why these young people will end up drinking uh, these things called the injengu and all those things, because their money is gone. Yeah. And if I tell you, you I know you know that, the, the guy who is in charge of, who has the mind claims for that area, is, is one white guy called Stone, I'm sure you know him. Yes, Stone doesn't ask for a lot of, uh, uh, like a big percentage from what you get. But there are these scrupulous people who are there on the cards of ZANPF. They come, they fit themselves in the middle, then they tell you, okay, Stone said dig here, but we are in charge, we are this and this, we are an organization called blah, blah, blah. Then the boys, they don't know. Now, what I'm saying is simple. I just go out, I group those boys, let them form a, 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 a consortium, empower them teach them how to save money, teach them how to do procurement. I've seen boys that at some point they had one kg of gold. They sold it, but today they don't even have a water pump. You see, you can't blame them. These are form two dropouts, these are form one dropouts, these are form three dropouts, these are form four dropouts. It's a mix. They are living in a condition whereby all what they know is a bubble store yeah. and the radio and the TV to go and watch at a bubble store, not in his house. Teach them, sit down with them, do workshops, expose them to new things and how things are done. And empower them, make them people that work. Because it, they, we, we, where is the problem of a human being? It's here, not anywhere else. Change the paradigm shift in somebody's head and show them that you are not wrong in what you are doing. It is what you are exposed to. So I can't blame you. If I see a young man uh, drank and uh, drunk and rolling on the floor and doing all sorts of things and all that, I don't blame him. I blame the system. I blame the society sometimes. We are exposing young people to wrong things. As a counselor, that's where you come in. 
How do you describe a councillor who takes the whole year, he has never called a workshop for youth to come and empower them? If it's now they, they rely on these uh, organizations, I'm not blaming them. I really uh, appreciate their help. Mm -hmm. I won't mention them. They come, they say, well, we want a girl child. We want to teach them how to use uh, 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 female condoms and uh, how to, to prevent so that they won't get pregnant. It's fine. We appreciate that. Mm -hmm. But what do you say about the boy child? If the boy child is not empowered, even if you empower the girl child, we all know. Yeah. Physically, a girl is weaker than a boy. The boy will overcome an, an empowered girl and he will do as he please. So let's empower the boy child also. So I'm already having documents that I can give you. We can sit tomorrow and discuss my empowerment programs okay. as a counselor to empower the young people. Yeah, but I'm still interested in yeah. how do I work with other yes. counselors? Yes. Right. <clears throat> Working with other counselors means number one, let's start. Look, uh, social uh, cohesion of people is very important. Yeah. A lot of people, we are what we are today because that social cohesion within us as Zimbabweans, it broke. Yeah. I saw how you were behaving when you were in my talk, even though I, I, I didn't speak with you. Yeah. But I could see that you are in a space whereby you are free, yeah. it's your land, you are even going into the caves yeah. and taking photos and all that. That shows that that person is happy. Yeah. What makes us not happy as the people? It is because of the way how we are governed by Zanbev, nothing else. And to add salt to the wound, people got displaced, got all over the world. So it means that social cohesion within us as Zimbabwe was broken. That is where that is the starting point, as the other words. Let's start social programs like your soccer tournaments, whereby my word, you start as villages, form a team there, form a team here, form a team here, form a team here, four teams because I've got four villages. Yeah. Then pick a squad that of the word. Same applies to that guy. He does that. Pick a squad for both boys and girls. Go there. That's number one. Number two. We must also have what we call, what, what I have termed, even though I haven't presented, I'm not trying to preempt my plans, but I will present it. Look, the, 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 the council chambers now have got different people, bro. You've got your the your, your sankaras of this, this world, yeah. whereby we're not just talking, we're doing. So let's have a constituency uh, economic development in that. Why do we have all the Indabas in Victoria Falls whereby these guys are, are the Nangakwas and them are talking lies to the people? Why don't we have it on the ground? In that constituency economic Indaba, let's have the young people, let's have the elderly discussing. I said constituents, not one. Yeah. That means now I've got 13 councillors sitting in one room with their representative of their villages with discussing about how to go about with mining so that it can empower the women, it can empower the community, it can empower and we also teach these people that are responsible with these mining activities. Why am I constantly mentioning mining? Because that is our, that is what we have. You, you take that gold from us, we have nothing. You know? And it worries me because uh, these are irreplaceable resources. If it's gone, it's gone. You can't get it back. So what are we doing? Why do we have it? Are we building schools? Why do we have to wait for the Minister of Education to build schools? Why do we have so much gold? Why are these people not... Where are they with their CSIs, which is Community Social Investment? Yeah. Unfortunately, if my colleague in ZANPF knows about that, simple social uh, uh, responsibilities. I don't think he knows that. So we need to teach these people, these young people that we are going to empower with the mining activities, farming activities and all that. Let me tell you something, which already uh, I, 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 I have uh, started. Um, I said to, 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 to these three boys, I'm just showing you how good leadership works. Yeah. These three boys, they are my neighbors. There was now willy nilly all the time. I'm done at 32 rand in Futengi, done at 10 rand in Futengi, in Jehu, what, what, what. Then I said, Oh, guys, go, go. I, I will give you money, but let's talk. And then we sat down. I said to them, I can show you the videos. Because yeah. I, 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 I will go and see them at night when they're doing their job. I said, Guys, 
I want you to mold 20,000 bricks. Yeah. There is water. I've got the ball. There's an end here. It's not me who built it, it's the ants. Yeah. Go and dig the soil, go and take the river sand, go and take water, mix mold bricks. I'll provide food for you while you're still doing that. Yeah. Bought a 50 kg of new me, gave them a goat, they're eating, they molded their bricks within three weeks. These are strong young boys. Yeah. They molded about 15,000 bricks. And guess what? Two buyers came. One took 7,000, one took 8,000. Yeah. These boys, they've got 15,000. And I said, what do we do with this man? Don't eat it. This is a seed. Yeah. What do you need to do? Let's look for something sustainable. All I want you guys, you see this place does not have transport. I want you in the next one year, you must have a kumbi that is yeah. going here. You form a, a, a cooperative. I'm going to help you to go and register a private company for yourselves. You have a bank account. You people from here, don't move out of here. Yeah. Your kumbi will be ferrying people here until you have a bus that ferries people from there. That's what we call leadership. The right. That's a wonderful thing. Uh, as we draw close yeah. the program, obviously, in the event that you get elected, yeah. there is a chance to be in the rural district chairperson. Okay. Your mayor, in other words. Yeah. Are you having such ambitions? Uh, look, this is uh, something that uh, I've thought about because I, I, should, I shouldn't be naive. If, uh, if I, you know, sometimes people, we, we make these mistakes yeah. of not uh, having ambitions. As a human being, you must have uh, ambitions. I mean, you are one of the profound journalists that we have in Matabele. I'm sure you have an ambition to, to, to start a, 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 a big, like you, you, there's a, a v, a VGM yeah. news, right? Yeah. I mean, you, you, you have ambitions to grow it. You have ambitions to, 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 to one day have it set up in Matopo and having a very big firm that prints newspapers, magazines, and all those things. You have that ambition. Obvious. If I look at the state of my Mapisa, yeah. I think that we need a, 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 a critical thinker that is going to, to lead there. So and if I'm given that position, yeah. yes, I will take it. Yes, so I will take it. In a few ways, just in a few 30 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> let's say you are already there. Yeah. What's in your mind? First and foremost is to make sure that, you know, what is, what is the wealth of a man or an African man? There's this thing that is spoken about uh, Zambia, of, of, uh, uh, not Zambia, it's not Zambia that did it, it's the people of Zimbabwe. Yes. Uh, when they, they wrote the constitution in 2013, they, they spoke immensely and deep about the devolution. Yeah. And devolution, what is, what, what is devolution if, you, if we want to describe it uh, very fast? Devolution is whereby only see feels that where I am, I belong. Yeah. That is what I call devolution. And you will never feel that you belong when you don't have land. You must have land. That's what our fathers, our uncles, our mothers fought for. Now, go to all these uh, district, play, um, I mean, growth points. I will mention my pizza. Take stock of who has houses there and all that. These are the other things that if I were to be elected in that position, mm -hmm. I would stand for. Secondly, um, there are places where people should be doing serious cattle ranching as cooperatives or as individuals. Mm -hmm. But those places are not well developed uh, to suit that. Of which the person who is in charge of Matopo in that position should really have a conversation around that and see how it's done. And secondly, there's this organization called EMA, they call it Environmental Management Work. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they're doing. And why do I say that? Because the bylaws are not enforced. Mm. That's why you see today, I know a man who lost about seven cows when they were going through the, 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 the holes that were left by miners. miners. And you can't blame miners. What do you do when you are not regulated? You do as you please. Yeah. But Emma, the people that are supposed to enforce that, they're not doing that. So then you ask yourself, where is the authorities when this thing is happening? We need to have uh, such things interrogated. And also, uh, the issue of education, it has dropped in our region. And I know that 
uh, the, 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 the mayor or whoever might not do that much, but we have never heard or seen even an article of somebody in such authority speaking seriously about these issues. Yeah. We can't be accepting and making it a, 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 a no uh, that we are set mediocre uh, to say, ah, in my development, uh, in Madobo, there is no school that has produced anything, zero percent. And the next day, ah, get the, get the people, they're going to school. It cannot, that can't be accepted. Let's sit down and have conversations on these things. And remember, the more we have conversations, the more we have dialogues on these things, that's when everybody is going to start seeing that no, we have to stand up and do something. But in, in closure on that, on that aspect, I think Triple C from National has got a very good plan for every constituency. How do you see that? We see it even with the campaigns. On the 20th of July, uh, President Chamisa, 10 a.m. you will be in Mapisa. Just for my top. He's not coming for my development. No. And maybe we are not going, I'm just saying, and I pray, maybe we're not going to have a rally for my development. We are going to have Matopo, Bulilima, Kwanda, Mangwe, like that. Because we don't pass people. Because if you say people must go and meet in Gwanda, so you are saying somebody from Makorokoro must go to Gwanda. No, we don't want to waste time. We want to, if we, like I was saying, when, when ZANPF is busy in Bulilima with, uh, with, with, with 6,000 people lying to them and giving them peps and all that, imagine, imagine blindfolding a person to sell their future and the future of their children just for a bottle of uh, 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 Miranda. Uh, that's a shame. Yeah, uh, you've already spoken about the social degradation, yes, sir. the environmental degradation. Correct. And now, what do you think should be the role of traditional chiefs oh, God. in managing these areas, in, especially the collaboration or cooperation between elected officials and traditional chiefs? Thank you so much, Nicholas. I think uh, we should uh, not spoil this and end this interview on this note. I'm glad you are one person who is still conscious about the traditional leadership. We are a broken society today because we have politicized traditional leadership. We have taken traditional leaders and put them deep into uh, politics. Yeah. That's why you see a, key, a, 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 a chief calling his subjects and telling them to vote for the ruling party. Yeah. But why list the traditional act is clear in the constitution mm. that traditional leaders must not be seen being uh, in favor of any political party. Now, the government of Triple C says traditional leaders must be left alone. They must be given room to exercise and practice their uh, a mandate without political interference. Number one. Also, another thing, there are these people called the village heads. Those people are very important. Yeah. But guess what? In my village, as I speak, last week, Saturday, there was a meeting whereby that meeting nearly turned out to be a ZANPF uh, 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 meeting. Yeah. Why? Because the head person or the headman is affiliated with Zanupia, though people refused. Now, how do you expect development to see the light there? It can't. So those people must be clearly reminded that their duty is to unite the people based on the traditional and the, and, 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 and the founding values of our uh, uh, humanity as Ubuntu Betu. They are the ones who are the custodians of that uh, essence of Ubuntu. But they lose it because they focus on politics of, of stomach and all that and all that. Now they've been lied that they will earn 200 US dollars. That's why they're doing all these shenanigans, which is unfair, you understand. But the Triple C government says, village heads, give them, let them do the. Last, 
there's a tradition which I've seen in, in my work, yeah. mostly when there are funerals. You find that there are speakers. Uh, the family speaks, the friend speaks, so and so speak. And then at the end, the counselor speaks. Not with me. Why should it be like that? What is so special and important about the counselor? Yeah. That makes him every time to be the speaker, the last speaker in the funeral. That is not right. We need to change that. The headman of that village must be the last speaker in that funeral. Yeah. He has the people. The councillor does not have the people. Headmen have the people. The councillor have the council act only. The people voted him or her so that he can lead them as far as what does the council requires. Because we, we live under the constitutional uh, sovereign state, so we must be abide by the rules and regulations. That's what the council have. But the people, the values, the culture, it's with the sample. Yeah. That's why you see today in the funerals and villages, people are doing things that are imaginable. Hence, we are asking ourselves, why do we have so much unprecedented deaths of young people and all that? It is because of this politics that has been put into funerals in rural areas. With me, no. If I go to a, a funeral, what I will do is mm -hmm. if, if, if I'm asked to be a poll barrier, I will do that. If I'm asked to go and Kamulingulu, I will do that. That councillor thing must not be taken. And all that. That's why these people they are not delivering. Because they end up focusing on them being pampered uh, and all that. And then the table for that matter. Small bottles of cold drinks. What is that? That is insane. Yeah. Councillors must give uh, traditional leadership their positions. So a councillor, when he has announcements, what announcement? Not party announcements then he can ask either somebody or he can ask the village head please pass this message for me simple yeah. uh, second last question thank you we have spoken a lot about you and uh, what you're going to do yeah if you win now let's change the thing let's change the no i'm saying this because <laughs> i want to change the thing now. let's say you lose yes uh how is your involvement going to be in the world you see, policy, the, the, sometimes you need to, to look at the person that when you speak about these subjects. Yeah. Uh, I'm, 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 a, I'm a very spiritual person. Uh, I'm, I'm guided. Uh, I'm not a Christian. Uh, I'm, you don't define me as a Christian. I'm spiritual. Um, I, I, if, 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 if I grew up in a setup whereby my mom was uh, who God meaning my mom was a sangoma yeah. and uh, she, at the same time she was enlightened so she didn't walk with us yeah. so I grew up as a, a very spiritual person so when I see a traditional healer that's that's okay with me yeah. when I see a umfundisi who step for good values that's good with me therefore things like if you lose they, 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 they don't exist in my life. <laughs> but for this <laughs> but for the sake of uh, uh, doing justice to my uh, uh, brother who is doing his uh, job as a journalist I will answer that <laughs> then let me answer it this way if I lose which is not going to happen mm. it's, 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 if it happens I mean I, 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 people would have decided uh, whether they've been coerced, it, it will be their loss. It will be the people's loss, not my loss. Because I will continue with my life. You know me. And you still involve yourself in community? No, no, no. Wait. I'll continue with my life. Wait. <laughs> I'll continue with my life. What is my life? My life is I'm a community builder. Okay. Without being a candidate or not candidate, I'm a community builder. I will continue working with whoever is going to win. I will continue working with the community. I'll continue doing. Why am I sure that I will continue? Because I'm not sitting here today speaking as a triple C candidate yeah. out of my way. It was the community's way. Yeah. So if they don't 
make sure that their will is fulfilled. It's, it's not my problem. I'm going to continue doing what I do best, which is to empower the community. All these programs that I'm talking about, you will see them happening because I believe in human em 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 emancipation. I believe in potential and, and, and latent potential and, 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 and ethic. I believe in empowerment. I believe that we are here on earth as human beings temporarily. We are all going to, to evacuate and go. Yeah. And the question is how do we leave this world at? Are we going to leave it as a beautiful place to be inherited by those that are coming after or before or after us? Or we are going to leave um, in food too, like uh, what Mugabe has done. Mugabe worked very hard uh, to, to, to liberate the, the country with the Abokom, but sadly he left it as in charge, something that you can't even see where the front is the back. I don't want that. Yeah. So whenever I lose, if the people decide that they don't want development, they want uh, prison, they want uh, to continue in the, in the shackles of uh, Egypt, then it's fine. But me, I'm a free man. I've, got, I've achieved things on my own capacity as a, as a person. I'll continue doing that. I'll continue being a businessman that I am. I'll continue being the, the community builder that I am. I'll work with the council unless he feels like, hey, you nearly killed me. So I don't want to see you next to me. But it's fine. My community, look, the community is, is you can dissect the community from big to small. Mm -hmm. So I've got a, a, an immediate village where I come from. It is very huge. Yeah. I can still, last time I was thinking that uh, I, I want to, uh, to, 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 to electrify about uh, 30 households uh, and put, give them 5 kVA solar, solar power mm -hmm. each. Which cost about uh, 1,200 US dollars per, 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 per household. And 30, 30 households, then we get five bowls, and then we, we get water uh, through taps and all that. That, that, I can, that can take me 10 years to do. Yeah. So I've got a lot of work to do. Okay, uh, thank you for creating the show. Thank but you. before we let you go, <laughs> we are giving you this moment okay. to speak to. People coming from your wife. Okay. So what for? Yes. Matopo will live in Yes, Matopo Mango. Oh, Matopo Mango, sorry. Yeah. Talk to them. Okay. Thank you very much for the opportunity. I really appreciate it. And uh, may God really bless you and increase uh, so that you can grow uh, in this uh, business of informing the community. On that note, I would like to not appeal but remind uh, the people of what for which we call Makowat in uh, Matopo RTC Matopo Mango RTC I know some will, will not understand that my reminder to them is that for the past 44 years we have been under a government of oppression a government of uh, divide and rule a government of toxicism a government of brutality, a government that is uh, a, a, a made of, uh, I say that with confidence, thieves and, uh, and, 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 and killers for that matter, because I lived next to Balago for some time and I can show you some of the mines that you, you, whenever you go next to it, you will feel that something is not right here. So I, I'm not saying killers because I'm just taking it from uh, the thing. I know they, what they've done and what they're doing. So what I'm saying to the people is that liberate yourselves. Liberate your children. Liberate your grandchildren. Liberate your grand-grandchildren by voting for change. And voting for change means we make sure that President Chamisa goes to the State House and the MPs goes to the State House. I mean, to the, to the, to the to the to the to the to the parliament and the councillors must occupy all the district uh, 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 council chambers must be triple C uh, councillors. Why am I confident that uh, um, triple C will do well? In my language, there is uh, let me put it in English. They say a, a new broom sweeps, 
better. Why do you continuously? It's it's it's. It, that's why I, love, I, I I I I respect women. Women, whenever they see that a mop is old, they throw it away. They're not like us. You continuously using an old mop. You see that it's not cleaning, but it's making the floor dirty. Women, they throw it away. Let's be like those wise women. Throw away this old broom. Get a new broom. Sweep the house faster with time and consistently. And also, I appeal to my fellow uh, 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 citizens who are affiliated with other political parties like your your your, your MRPs and I think Zapo. Guys, uh, some of you are talking sense politically, you are making a lot of sense. Uh, here is an opportunity that some of you, you, you wanted to do differently, but unfortunately because of Zach you didn't manage to field candidates and all that. Tell your people to gladly vote for Triple C. And what are the benefits when you, as an MRP member, vote for Triple C, ZAPU member, vote for Triple C? It is going to give you an opportunity to practice and preach your, your gospel of politics in the new uh, uh, dispensation of uh, Triple C. It will give you a platform whereby you are going to express your views without fear of being intimidated and arrested and locked up. As we see now, we have um, the, your people like Job Scala of Triple C, Jacob Mbarevume, and we have the Nyatsime 13 that uh, are still uh, attending. And we also have uh, the MRP 9, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. that are rotting in, 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 in prison, of which for bogus charges that you can see uh, in a normal government, these people were not even supposed to be in prison for a week. I mean, even for a night, the next day they were supposed to be released. But they are now languishing in prison because of this government that we must all work in unison together and remove. Otherwise, if, even if you guys, you don't vote for us, I promise you if President Chamisa comes to power within a short space of time, all these people, all political prisoners will be released. Thank you. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Only seeing over what four council candidate in Matopo Mount constituency. He has been the first to grace this show, and for that, we wish him all the, all the best in his endeavors. Continue to subscribe to this channel, like this video, share it. But if you are a candidate and you want to present yourself to the people, this is your channel. Just get in touch with us and we will do justice to that. Thank you very much. Subscribe, share this video.